The notorious Amy's Baking Company is in the news again for, you guessed it, doing something terrible. A legally binding Amy's Baking Company employee contract has been released by Radar Online and it is even more appalling than one would expect from the owners who called their employee a poisonous, little viper on national television. The Scottsdale, Arizona restaurant first came into the media spotlight after a disastrous appearance on Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares this past spring. Since then, the restaurant has gone through a series of attempts to recover, but after a very public social media meltdown, the potential deportation of co-owner Sammy Buzeglo and a local reporter writing a scathing review after being kicked out, this latest scandal is another serious setback. In what is labeled a mutual agreement between the employee and Amy and Sammy Buzeglo, the 20-item contract contains rules that govern how the employee may speak, act, dress and spend their holidays. Most disturbing, the agreement also includes many clauses that shift the financial responsibility of the business onto the employee. Any products such as food or plates that are broken or burned due to direct negligence will be taken from your paycheck at ABC's Amy's Baking Company cost, one rule states. Another rule reads, the wait staff understands that any and all tips are property of the house. By signing this contract you agree that you willingly accept a payment of $8 to $12 per hour to ensure that you will receive some type of payment. Radar Online previously reported that Amy's Baking Company changed their tip policy after receiving backlash following the Kitchen Nightmares broadcast. The leaked contract is not dated, so it could be from before the tip policy was changed. Another gem of disturbing Amy's Baking Company logic is this rule. Holidays and weekends are mandatory, by signing this contract you are accepting that you will be required to work all holidays, and weekends. Due to the nature of our industry this is a necessity and any no-show will be monetarily penalized with a fee of $250. This basically means that employees are required to pay $250, or 31 hours of work, out of pocket for their days off, if that day happens to be a weekend or holiday. And if you refuse to show up to work and are fired, good luck finding employment elsewhere. One of the guidelines states that if an employee resigns or is terminated, they are not to work at any competitor within a 50-mile radius of ABC within one year of termination or voluntary resignation. Got a problem with the rules? Too bad. Any type of attitude will result in immediate termination.